Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. I am so sorry guys that I did not get Vlogmas day 16 and 17 up. I was able to keep up with Vlogmas all the way up into day 15 which I think is pretty good because this is my first time ever doing Vlogmas. But this past weekend was just so super busy. I did not have time to film or vlog at all and I didn't pre-record at all either. So this video is going to be my Vlogmas day 16 and 17. And in this video, I will be doing a haul. I went to a few different stores. I went to H&M, Victoria's Secret, and also, of course, Target. So I thought I would share with you guys what I purchased. I have one full bag just full of candy, and that is stocking stuffers. And then I bought a few other things. And then I also bought one thing from Victoria's Secret. I had a little reward card that was 20 off of 40, and that was about to expire. So I took advantage and used that so let's just jump right into my haul The first thing I will show you is what I purchased from Victoria's Secret I thought I would just share this one first because I only bought one item from there And I purchased a perfume this perfume is called love and I'm in need of more perfume I just realized I barely have any perfumes So I thought this one smelled pretty good all the other ones were just too fruity or too flowery or just too overpowering I feel like this one was a really nice soft light scent. So I purchased this one Next I will share with you guys what I purchased from H&M. H&M is having a really good sale right now and you're going to notice all the items that I purchased are summer clothing items but I am going back home which is Florida. I will be going back the first week of January so I need some summer clothes for that and also it'll get hot sooner or later here as well so I thought for these prices I couldn't pass them up and the first shirt I bought is actually a really loose nice white tank top it has a really really deep v in the front but i thought i could just pair it with like a thin spaghetti strap underneath or even like a bralette so i picked this up and this was only three dollars next i bought this shirt i love shirts that are like this that are like the high neck and this one is the high neck and it's kind of like a knit type of material. I really like it. So I picked this shirt up. It's also another long one. And this one was only $7. Next item is a dress. I just wanted something really comfortable that was breathable and thin. So I grabbed this one. It's kind of like a blush pinkish kind of color. And it has pockets on the side that I liked. And then it was also ruched in a little bit in the middle right there and this was also only seven dollars and then i only purchased one more item and it is these shorts and guys i really love the way these shorts fit they're so comfortable and long i'm so tall sometimes i have a really hard time finding shorts that are not super short on me or becoming daisy dukes after i just wash them once so hopefully these don't shrink they are a good length so they're the high waist ones and I really, really love them. So, and you can tie like a little bow here and I just liked that they were longer. And these were on sale for $10. And those are all the items that I purchased from H&M. Next, I will share with you guys what I purchased from Target. If you guys know me well enough, you know I'm obsessed with Target and I go there way too often. So I bought two tank tops from Target and it is from that new brand and away. I don't really know if I'm saying that correctly, but I bought two tank tops. They were on sale when I went, I believe for two for 12. So this one's kind of like another like blushy pinkish color. And then it has like hints of like a rose gold kind of. So I thought that was really cute. I like that it is stretchy for one and that it's really long. And then since they were two for 12, I just grabbed another one. And like I said, it's really long, which I like, and stretchy. Next two items are going to be mugs. I picked up these mugs because they were on clearance, and I thought they were really cute. I have so many mugs already, but I will be getting rid of a lot of them. Once I move, I'm going to clean out my cabinet. So I got this one. This one was on clearance for only $3.48. And I don't know why, but I'm really into like these clear type mugs. So this one's a clear one. And then in the front in gray, it says coffee, key to survival. So that is definitely me. I need coffee to survive. I drink coffee every day. 
And then the second mug I bought is this white one. It's a white ceramic one. This one was $4.18 and it says home is where the good coffee is. And then I love that it had this gold little handle right here. So that is the second one I bought. Next item is going to be a pitcher. I bought this pitcher. It is clear. And then the top, I really liked. The rim part is all gold. And this one was originally $15 on clearance for $10.48. I thought that was really cute for when we have get-togethers and I ha make a drink I can put in here. Or even if I just make lemonade, homemade lemonade at home, I can put it in here. So I grabbed this one. Okay, now this last bag, honestly, guys, is just full of all candy. All this candy is the candy I will be putting in both my kids' stockings and also my husband's stockings. So, start off with what I'm putting in my kids' stockings. And it first thing is goldfish. They're just Christmas goldfish. So, I bought one for each of them. Then, I bought each of them these little milk chocolate candy and toy surprises. So, I bought my son the Cars one. And it's supposed to have a little car in the middle of the chocolate egg. And then, I bought my daughter the Peppa Pig one. I also bought them some M&M's. They both really love M&M's, so I bought them a pack each. Then I bought my son these Pez's. It has a little reindeer, and then it comes with like six pack of the candy Pez. I thought he would really love that. I was gonna buy one for my daughter as well, but she doesn't like like hard candies like that, so I didn't buy one for her. I might go back and just buy it for her just so she can have the little Pez toy, but she won't eat the candy, so I don't know. And then the last thing I bought for my son are these Jelly Bellies, and they are cars. And then the last thing I bought for my daughter is this little Christmas tree Reese's Pieces. Now, the rest of this candy is going to be what I'm going to be putting in my husband's stocking. So the first thing is this little bar of Hershey's chocolate. Then I also picked up these chocolate Andes, like the mint ones. He really likes these. I also picked him up some Reese's Pieces in the little cute traditional candy cane tube. I also got him some of this candy. I always butcher the name trying to pronounce it, so I'm not even going to try to pronounce it. But we both really love this chocolate, so I got him one of those. And then the last candy I got him are Gobstoppers. He really likes Gobstoppers, but for some reason he loves the Christmas ones rather than the traditional ones. So I grabbed him a box of these. And that is going to end today's haul. Hopefully I gave some of you guys a few ideas of candy options to put in your loved one's stockings. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, I would love if you would consider subscribing to my channel and joining me and my YouTube family. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.